Hello everyone, welcome to my garden. My name is Tony Smith and today I want to show you just I think there's about seven little things that I'm using have got at this time of year that I, th I thought I would just share with you. Some are little bits of technology, some are seeds and some things are just big huge giant things. So stick around and let's get into it. So first up in preparation i got myself can you see that some broad beans so these are from the, the dobby's site and i got two packets of them and these are the aqua dulce is it the claudia and great for like autumn soon as well so i've got two packs of them and like i say it's just in preparation for you know probably in a month's time getting some out and getting them in and i'll probably even you know do like a later sewing as well but i thought i would try these ones because we had in the garden just over next to the hut some volunteer ones and normally broad beans is not you know it, it's something my family's not that keen on but the volunteer ones grew i picked all the beans and i loved them and they brought back like memories of like from my granddad's garden and everything like that so i thought oh that would be nice and I just tried these ones and like I say they were like bought online so we'll see how they go and I'll you can follow along and watch with them. So next up is I bought more garlic. Now I got these garlic. These are I think I got about 40 cloves I think from now these were bought on eBay and these are like the early purple white ones and the intention is just to push them in on edges around edges you know like in between you know a companion planting just try and get them out and about just so like they're a cash crop and hopefully I can just you know not the intention is not to worry about them if they come they come if they don't they don't you know what I mean but I've certainly got plenty and like you say these are the, the early purple white ones so hopefully more garlic is always good garlic so the next item is just a little bit personal to me and you will not be able to get one but let me just show you if i just pull up my keys there there we go that one there is my new key for the compound where the bees are going and i'm going to come up later on tonight as well and and sort get them like tucked up ready for transportation tomorrow but yes that is the key for the new compound so i've had me site induction i had to have a site induction for the the area because there is like buildings on there you know that I, you've got to be careful with should i say so that's good and while while i'm on there i might as well show you this little device and it's looking a bit tacky and dirty because i didn't half get covered when i was doing that roof with all the kind of bitumen but that little device is fantastic. I've got on here is the keys for the, the compound to get into actual this allotment. And there's a couple of times I've left them in here, I've lost them. This is one of those little tile, little Bluetooth connected to your phone, never lose your keys. And it works so well. And what the good thing is as well, you lose your phone, you can press this and it will ring your phone as well. So anytime I've kind of lost the keys or I'm coming up and I just don't know where the keys are, it just tells you on your phone where they are. I'll put links to it because I just that I got that off the because I always see for when the, the the kids buy something for Christmas or birthday. What do you want, Dad? As long as it's got Bluetooth and a flashing blue light, get us it. And my daughter got us this, and it was just like a, yes, what a great idea. So now I know exactly where my keys are. So these next two items are, it's for me, it's almost like reinventing the wheel. You know what I mean? It's like, it's something that's blindly obvious. I've never thought about it. And they've just been a great little help. It's getting now into the kind of the dark days of, you know, like October's coming. It's only, I think a week's time. Not even that before the clocks go back you know, you fall back and the nights are just, that's it, brutally, like four o'clock, it's getting dark at half three. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think I suffer with kind of being down moods wise with it. You know, these, there's a lot of people here have that kind of effect, this kind of seasonal disorder, but it does make us, I do get like anxious anxiety. I've had that since I was, you know, 17 anxiety and I've got my own kind of coping strategies. But it does, you know, these dark nights almost for me give us like that's that sudden change 
almost like a claustrophobic, you know, and I'm being out so much in the open. These two, <laughs> would you believe, have just been a godsend to us, and it's just, there's no, because it's the build-up with anxiety as well, and I normally get a little bit kind of stressed, you know, coming up to the, the, that, that, you know, the fall back, a torch. Now, what, what I, now, now, here is out. These, I've got two torches, like one top end of the scale and one just kind of mediocre bottom end. I'm not sure how much this one costs. Head to, I still get out now. What the benefit is, is coming up, if I wanted to come up to the garden, and I'm like I say, I'm going to come up later on the night and sort out the bees, and I'll just show you the benefits of them. Do you know what I mean? What they are is phenomenal. Do you know what I mean? It's just, especially what I use it for now is dog walking. I have this on now and it just means I can get out, still get out and it, like get out at eight o'clock at night, you know what I mean? And it, the day doesn't feel like it's in half. That's the thing for me and it's just like, it it lasts a long, long more time than just like this four o'clock and then you, it's almost like you're thinking about bedtime, you know what I mean? It's seven o'clock in the, in the evening. So I have a headlight and this one is King Stop. And like I say, I don't think it was, I'll try and put, find a link. Probably about twenty pound, I think seventeen pound, something like that, and it's it's just fantastic, you know. It's just like for footing, where you're walking, it just shines that light on, and I can just see where I'm going, you know, because I walk along the kind of cliff tops and the, and the, you know, what I mean, God forbid, in the pitch black, but with this torch, you know, what I mean, this head torch, it just allows us to get out and allows us to kind of come up here and just make sure everything's right you know you know you know if i if it was desperately had to come up and pick some cap you know some cabbage or anything like that i just this head torch but primarily for the dog walking now this one is at the totally other end of the scale and don't get us wrong it cost you know it cost a quite a little bit of money it's an o light and it's usb charge and it's just got it's got that satisfying and this lasts but the, the the battery lasts for ages but the beam is just unreal do you know what i mean and this is ideal for dog walking because it's we've got three dogs and you know they like to get off and run and we have tried all the sorts of like the little flashing collars and all that and they're just because they're like the boisterous dogs you know when I mean? these collars just get ripped off and then you'll you're looking for your dog and you can see like a little flashing beacon in the middle of the field and the dog's not there you know this beam just goes forever and it's so bright and you can put on full beam and you can just see your dogs just you, you know what i mean just hundreds of yards away do you know what i mean this this light this little torch lights up a full field it's so good you know what i mean and like i say it just it's usb charge and i think it's more you know for like security guards <coughs> excuse me you know and people are gonna i guess work at night and but for just idea for just popping in your pockets you know going around inspecting your garden this you'll see tonight you know hopefully we'll get some you know the the cameras will pick up the the light in the dark but i just find this for dog walking is keeping an eye on your dogs is just fantastic it's got like two two modes i think it might even have three like a flashing mode it's got like a normal mode but then it's got this like high intense mode which just sends out this beam that's staggering to be honest so so we're back home in the yard at the moment for the last little one and it's that storage box let's just turn you around there can you see so this was the storage box that i ordered off amazon it was actually on prime day it's one of those keta ones it's the same make as the the one the garden seat but it's a nice huge one to be quite honest and it's just great storage for all the junk that i need to have out when it's like winter time for the you know when i'm doing the kind of videos in the hut with the, the grow the lights and i mean all I've got <laughs> at the moment the grass cut a few axes and the millennium falcon there but it's just these stuff is all in the way and i'll be put obviously you're going to fill it up with everything at the you know once it once i'm in the the, the throes of it but yes it's so simple to put together and unfortunately this model is not available at the moment because they were on prime day they just sold out straight away you know but i'll put a link to 
the Keta site anyways on Amazon you can have a little look but yeah for winter storage there I'm chuffed to bits with it so you'll not be able to see much but I'm at the gate of the allotment I've just put the head torch on there and there you go you can just see what a difference it just makes for your footing for walking around and just being able to see getting yourself out you know like with the dogs or just up here to spot for the slugs and the snails but let's just take it off the head torch we'll go back to dark and I'll show you the super one and it just goes. I mean that's just like you can see right down you know what I mean this is so strong and powerful you know, you can even put it on that house down at the bottom. You can see all that tree. I mean, you can see right over there. I mean, if you want to do, you can <laughs> go on. It just keeps on going and going and going. Like I say, I'll be going in there just to do the bees, but this is just ideal. You can see there, I've got it on the floor and it almost just lights up the whole, the whole polytunnel. Yes, definitely bright there. So, I'd just like to say good night from me. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Come on, come on. Right, sit, 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 Douglas. What's this? Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> Ralphicus Douglas Douglas